Hello, my wonderful writers. Today we're looking at topic sentences, our, our beginning introduction to our writing. So we're going to look at some types of topic sentences. So first we have the list statement. So a list statement tells the reader exactly what the paragraph will be about by listing the three ideas or the three supporting details. So I wrote an example. My favorite sports include soccer, football, and basketball. So my topic sentence tells the reader exactly what the rest of my paragraph is gonna be about. It's gonna be about soccer, football, and basketball. So my supporting details, will one will be about soccer, one will be about football, and one will be about basketball. So the list statement tells the reader exactly what the three supporting details are gonna be about. So let's read on. My favorite sports include soccer, football, and basketball. Soccer is my favorite sport because I like to run up and down the field. Next, I like football because it is fun to watch the Chiefs score touchdowns. Finally, basketball is one of my favorite sports because I like the sound of the sneakers on the court. I enjoy watching and playing different sports. So notice how I use my transition words. I, each of my supporting details talks about each of my list statements in my topic sentence. And then my concluding sentence supported my main topic sentence. Also notice that I indented my topic sentence so that readers know that it's the beginning of a new paragraph. So we indent the topic sentence. And that just means putting a space before you start writing. So we're going to look at another type of topic sentence. Power number statements. So unlike the list statements, the power st number statements do not tell the readers each of the ideas, but instead use number words such as many, few, a number of, to present the topic. So instead of saying each of the items that we are going to be talking about in our paragraph, power number statements use number words. So I wrote my power number statement topic sentence. I wrote, there are many reasons that I like to travel to the mountains. So I use the word many to say that I'm going to write about many different reasons that I like to travel to the mountains. Notice again, I indented my topic sentence so we know that it's the start of a new paragraph. So I gave a space before I started my topic sentence. So I wrote, there are many reasons that I like to travel to the mountains. I like to travel to the mountains because the scenery is beautiful. Also, I enjoy going to the mountains because there are a lot of different types of animals. Lastly, I like to travel to the mountains because I like to hike mountains. Traveling to the mountains is great for so many different reasons. So I indented my topic sentence. I used a number word instead of listing out all the reasons that I like to travel to the mountains. And then I had my three key details to support my topic sentence. And then I ended with a concluding statement that restated my topic sentence. Also, I used transition words. I used also and lastly. So the third type of topic sentence we're gonna look at is attention getter. We looked at attention getters when we were writing our introductions. So the attention getter um, tries to grab the reader's attention by making a statement that is interesting. So if you look at my writing, I indented my topic sentence. I put a space before my topic sentence so we knew it was the start of a new paragraph. And then I wrote my topic sentence. My dog Brian is the best dog in the entire country. So now the reader is going to want to read on about what makes Brian the best dog in the entire country. So then I started with my three supporting details. I wrote first, he is the best dog because he always wants to snuggle with me, but especially when I'm not feeling well. Next, he is the best dog because he is nice to everyone. Lastly, Brian is the best dog because he does not chew up anything in my house. 
Ryan is the best dog in the country because he is nice and sweet. So I indented or put a space before my topic sentence. My topic sentence was interesting statement or an attention getter. I then used transitions, transition words to write my three supporting key details. And then I ended with a conclusion that restated my topic sentence. Tomorrow, we are going to look at our key details, our juicy ideas. And then by the end of the week, we will write our own paragraphs that have great topic sentences, supporting details, and concluding statements. But today, there's nothing to turn into today. We're going to continue to work on our writing throughout the week. So I was just introducing you to the types of topic sentences that we're going to use later when we write our own paragraphs.